who else likes to get the smaller cart so that they like hopefully buy less <laughs> that's a tip get a smaller buggy you'll buy less here we go ours finally started charging for these bags and so there's another tip remember to bring your bags i feel like the protein bars are always on sale i'm gonna grab a few of them see these are the things that tempt me but look at the price on sale for ten dollars that's crazy but i think are these gluten free Hello. Oh, erythritol, that messed up my stomach. No way. Last time these were nasty when I got them. They look better though. They look pretty actually. Unpopular opinion, but I don't like the big bananas. I always try to go for the tiny ones. <laughs> wow, this is a good deal. Two for seven for these little baby potatoes. They, this same bag was five dollars at Walmart. The exact same bag. So probably getting two. my favorite. Pot my favorite potatoes are the Marisaki ones from Trader Joe's that are purple on the outside and white in the middle. But I don't think Sprouts carries anything like that. I don't know. Grabbing a couple of sweet potatoes to go with. Them. flavors where they go but they'll have them back here so weird I'm gonna need a couple olive pops so good side note lavender anything to eat or drink sounds absolutely awful to me how about you that's a no-go for me all right and I have to get some hamburger while I'm here I just love their hamburger tip for getting good deals on meat is to walk around and see what they have on sale. They're always going to have something on sale that's surprising. Like last time the chicken breasts. Chicken breasts are on sale but I don't really need any. My helper is being crazy. I will say I've been super disappointed in like the deli selection. They don't do these in the store. They get them in. And I can't ever find like a small pack. Like I don't need $20 worth of turkey you know I need like five or six let's see if we can find what I want all right I can't find my uh mesquite honey turkey breast that I love no. but <laughs> I'm gonna get some buffalo chicken breast and some ham off the bone that's my favorite kind of ham and I'm gonna probably freeze some of see you have to watch for little cells like this that's an awesome dill but I don't see any of the original which is what I would want caught my eye. Gluten-free. <laughs> $7.99. And I'm out of my tortillas. These are so good, you guys. So, 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 so good. Now this looks like a much better deal. The big box, the gluten-free donuts for $5.99. Ooh, the donut holes are $4. I think I want to try these. <laughs> love like the little slices from Trader Joe's. These are like, I feel like these are knockoff of Trader Joe's. The strawberries and the um, chocolate covered bananas and chocolate covered strawberries. But I feel like those are so easy to make at home. But I don't want to do it. You know? 
also these true fruits. I've been wanting to try these. Just real fruit covered in a little bit of chocolate. How good does that sound? If you can't tell, I like chocolate fruit. This is one of my favorite parts of Sprouts is all the prepared food. It makes everything so convenient. They just literally have everything. Salads, chicken salads, shrimps, kebabs, chicken tenders, meatballs grilled breasts, pulled chicken. This is my biggest like time saving way to set you up for success for eating good is getting stuff like this. You don't have time to All right, successful trip, the tiny buggy worked. I didn't get that much, only these three bags, but I still managed to spend over $100. So, <sighs> is what it is. We'll do a grocery haul when I get back. Come collect the bunch. All right, these three little bags were $100. Let's see what I got. All right, guys, so here's a little overview of what I got at Sprouts this week. I didn't need a lot, I did run into Walmart. On Saturday for a few things that you really just can't get at Sprouts, some some naughty things, some Diet Dr. Pepper and, you know, stuff like that, stuff the kids love. But anyway, so anyways, I just wanted to show you my little Sprouts haul this week. Um, I've heard from you guys that you've been enjoying them, so I'm going to keep them up. And I hope that you enjoyed, like, shopping with me in Sprouts. That was a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments if you liked going shopping with me. Um, so... The gluten-free bread I've been eating really hurts my stomach. Like it just sits, it sits in my stomach like a ton of bricks. It's just hard, I don't know, it's hard to digest. So I'm wondering if this gluten-free, low carb, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. We'll see, we'll see. Um, been loving the Siete almond flour tortillas. These, delicious. You just have to crisp them. You can't crisp them for too long. Warm them up on both sides in a dry pan. Chef's kiss, perfect. Been making chicken tacos all week. Um, another orange squeeze and strawberry vanilla on the Olipops. I really wanted grape, but they didn't have any. Um, I'm getting the Sprouts brand grass-fed whole milk um, because they were out of the other kind. I think it's fine. I don't think they had that last time or I probably would have gotten that because it was cheaper. You guys know, if you've been watching, my creme brulee silk almond milk creamer, the best, my favorite. Um, Caesar salad kit. These are just so handy. I like how tiny they're chopped up. Um, my kids love them, so that's just an easy side. More hamburger. You guys know I love Sprouts hamburger. Some already cooked chicken just for easy, something easy because all my meal preps that I prepped are gone. Um, this is a splurge. <laughs> Definitely a splurge. I've been wanting to try these true fruits for a while. This pina colada with the pineapple and the coconut. And white chocolate oh my gosh sounds so good so I'll let you know how I like that I love these from Trader Joe's this is just like a good little treat when it gets warmer out for me or the kids some bananas I bought some I think I bought like six bananas on Saturday and they're already gone so more of those you do you guys do that go through phases where like you buy a bunch and you eat them all in a couple days and you have to go back and buy more and then the next week whenever you buy like two bunches no one eats any that that's how it is here um, sweet potatoes. I've been loving sweet potatoes and these little baby Dutch yellow baby potatoes. I love these just cut in half, roasted in the oven. So, so good. Such an easy, um, side gluten-free and easy meal prep. You can roast these and then just reheat them with your meat, with your beef or your chicken, side salad, side broccoli, whatever. Easy peasy. Um, okay. Midday squares. I love this peanut butter. The brownie one not good but this was a new flavor that my store just got in so I'm gonna try to excited to try the cookie dough I'm a big cookie dough fan um and then I heard about these one bars these protein bars my favorite protein bar oh gosh I can't think of the name it's the they're like the wafer bars they're so good I'll, I'll try to think of it but they're not gluten-free so these are gluten-free they were on sale I wanted to try some I really wanted to try them uh, this maple glazed donut mm. so 
so I'll let you know how I like those. And then they did not have the famous mesquite honey turkey. Can you even? Um, but I think that this buffalo chicken breast should be pretty good. And also my favorite ham is the ham off the bone. Um, I'll probably freeze half of this because I don't think we'll eat it. Anyways, I'll probably freeze half of this. I don't think we'll eat it all in a few days, but there you go. That's it. It's about $100, a little over, like 110 gets you at sprouts whenever you're eating, gluten-free, trying to be a little, a little kind of healthy, you know? All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with me today. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you liked it, give me a like. Um, and if, if, if you enjoy it and you want to see more, leave a comment and let me know. Um, I hope you all have a good day and I will see you soon. And if you stayed, you guys get a little bonus taste test. Okay, so Bub's dying to try this. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little taste test real quick. This is what it looks like when you open them up. Bub's thinking we need a spoon. You don't need a spoon. It's just like a bite. Mm -hmm. Will you go put those up? I'm not trying to feed these. I'm trying to feed him. Let's see. Wow. Um, that's a yes for me. Mm. That's delicious. Do you like it, Bubba? 10? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's a yes. These are approved. <clears throat> Yum. Have a good day, guys.